can go right ahead and we can talk about the Lakers and their search for the new head coach. Now there, um, now there are reports saying that surprise, JJ Redick now has inside track to be the Lakers coach in the next few um in the next few weeks or in the next few months however long it takes for him to sign but he is supposed to be the favorite going into the um going into the offseason the lakers have pinpointed a new favorite according to this article and in their head coaching search um and according to um according to Woj. The JJ Redick will formally inter- uh, will formally interview with the Lakers this weekend in Los Angeles. So I mean he's an option for the Lakers to being the new coach. Woj added that with a strong performance in the interview, Redick is expected to be the forefront of the team's quest for a new leader after Dan Hurley turned down the Lakers' seventy million offer to remain at UConn. So, the Lakers general manager, Rob Palinka, owner Jeannie Buss, and other senior decision makers reportedly are expected to partake in a day-long interview. So, it seems like J.J. Redick is going to be the favorite after all. And it's a little bit weird because this is like the Lakers' offseason. Like, this is what they do every single offseason. It's like, they have these high expectations, then, or they have these expectations that they hype up. Then they get better expectations that they, th- and then they trash the old expectations. And then when they don't get the better expectations, they hype up the old expectations again. So it's like it's a really weird um, back and forth that these. Um, these coaching scenarios and this Lakers drama has been taking, has been folding um, or unfolding in front of us because it's like, at first it was JJ. Then it was Dan Hurley. Then Dan Hurley said no. Then it was James Borrego. And now it's JJ Redick. So it's like, it's really difficult to keep track. It's almost as difficult as like um, the Cavs scenario. Well, it seems like, again, James Borrego is a favorite for the Cavs. But we'll talk about the Cavs a little bit later because it seems like, you know, they do want to run it back. But, you know, stay tuned if you want to hear about that segment. That's going to be the fourth segment. But aside from that, J.J. Redick, I mean, him being the coach for the Lakers or if he like if he were to be the coach for the Lakers, I'm not entirely sure how that would work out. The reason why a lot of people like Dan Hurley is because of his experience as a coach and JJ Redick doesn't really have that much experience so it's like it would be you know it would be really difficult to like really rely on someone who would who has zero experience as a head coach more so than it would to rely on someone who has a pretty good experience as a head coach you know winning back-to-back NCAA championships is no joke but i mean he's basically obviously he's going to try to three peat i'm assu- i'm assuming that's obviously what he's going to be trying to do because it's like why wouldn't you try and do that and if that does happen then he would be cemented in history which is definitely a better way to go out than being a coach for the lakers but aside from that jj reddick as the coach i'm not entirely sure like with the it's really the fact that he doesn't have that experience because again you don't just get coaching experience like that especially when you're um the coach of lebron i mean we've seen steve nash and he was a great player like he was um arguably a he was a better player than uh jj reddick in the nba and he was fired almost immediately and everyone like thought he was good like all the Nets fans they said oh yeah he would be great but then after the first few seasons with him they just decided okay he's really bad so the fact that Steve Nash is a better player than JJ Redick I mean obviously 
there's no telling. I mean, maybe J.J. Redick would be a better coach than he is a player, as opposed to Steve Nash being a better player than he is a coach, obviously. But there's no telling exactly like how good your coaching skills are going to be no matter how good your NBA career was or how, um, again, how bad your NBA career was. But Steve Nash, I mean, he was, a, again, a very great player and one of the was the main coordinator of one of the fastest offenses in NBA history under Mike D'Antoni, the seven seconds or less. And they were just, you know, they were the one of the best offenses in the NBA at the time. And he was the commander of that offense. He won two MVPs. And obviously, you know, winning two MVPs, you know, you have to have a really um, good basketball mind and you have to have a really um, good rep, good set of skills to be able to get those um, kind of accolades. Now, despite getting all those accolades, it didn't really translate into his coaching career, despite the fact that he had Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and James Harden, mainly Kevin Durant and Kyrie. Now, I'm not going to say that Kyrie was helping scenarios and helping the, um, the team with his decision. You know, I'm not going to really get into that. But not to mention James Harden getting traded um, or deciding to get traded. And then the rest of the team deciding to get traded. But aside from that, he had a great team and it still ended up failing. Now, one could argue that it was the injuries. But despite the fact that he had Kyrie and Kevin Durant, I thought he did a really bad job in coaching in the NBA playoffs when they went up against the Celtics. Uh, when they had just Kyrie and Kevin Durant. Now, they played really they played good ag- they played really good against them in the like the first time when they had James Harden. Like they had a, a historic first round and they scored so many points together and it was just it was just ridiculous how many points they were scoring and they put up ridiculous numbers offensively and despite that, I mean you know, that first series, you know, it seemed like that would be the norm. But then in the the next round, then in or the next year, when they played the um, Celtics again, they ended up losing. So and they ended up getting swept. So it was not a really good coaching job from Steve Nash, because he sort of let Kevin Durant and Kyrie shoot them out the game. And He didn't really call timeouts when they needed to. And again, it doesn't... So, I don't really feel confident with J.J. Redick being the coach. Not as confident as I would if it was Dan Hurley. Because, you know, Dan Hurley, he was going to be the favorite. He should have been the favorite. And I really... um, Like, the Lakers, they really messed up with this. They should have made him the most paid coach in the NBA. Like, if they really wanted to get... If they really wanted to get him in the in the NBA, if they really wanted to get him with that coaching position, they absolutely needed to make him the most paid coach in the NBA in order to twist his hand because that's like the best offer that you're going to get in the NBA and that's like I mean, maybe they didn't have the money for it, but I feel like making him only the sixth most paid is a little bit underwhelming, but that's just me. So with that, we are out of time for this second segment. So now I will go ahead and go into the third segment where I will talk about the Celtics and their game plan to beating the Dallas Mavericks in this series. So I will be right back after this short break. Be sure to stay tuned. Looking for your daily fix of sports talk without having to pay for it? GSMC Sports Network is available on YouTube. Just search GSMC Sports Network. Get your fix of daily sports talk shows on YouTube absolutely free. NFL, college football, NBA, MLB, MMA, UFC, fantasy football, and so much more. 
GSMC Sports Network has shows running all day long with new sports shows starting every two hours. Just like on your favorite cable sports channel, except GSMC Sports Network is absolutely free. Just search GSMC Sports Network on YouTube to catch one of your new favorite shows, like the GSMC College Football Podcast, Chip Shot Football Podcast, Hoops and Heels Women's Sports Podcast, GSMC Basketball Podcast, and so many more. Check it out for yourself. GSMC Sports Network, now available on YouTube absolutely free. Search GSMC Sports Network on YouTube right now.